put on my contacts. It makes it so much easier to do my job and I can still see what the hell I'm doing. I like this right here. There's like a, um, a peroxide that really cleans your contacts. You know, hydrogen peroxide cleans a lot of stuff. But please don't take those contacts without letting them sit for over eight hours. Because if you take them out and you just put them in there, that stuff will burn your eyes, something bad. It'll have you jumping up and down like this. <laughs> so, yes, let them things soak really good so that it won't burn in your eyes. So, let me put them in. You can't really see it, but you see it. It sits on there, and you take it off and put your contacts in. Yep, yes. All right. Man, my face, my skin, sensitive. All that stuff that be getting on my face and I be just breaking out. But I'm still trying to be girly. Look, I did, look at, I did my eyebrows, honey. Just because I drive trucks don't mean I can't get into myself sometimes, even though I'm going to start off looking like this but probably finish looking crazy as hell. But I don't care. See that truck? That is the truck that I have to hook up to. That's good, $149.97. So, matter of fact, I might as well just put my stuff in here now. All right, my mount is acting really stupid, but hopefully it'll hold. So, got my stuff all in the truck. Now, I gotta park and go get some ice, do my pre-trip, go get my bills, and I am ready to rock and roll. All right, y'all, I got my bills. And you know what I'm gonna start doing? I'm gonna start having a bunch of these seals and I'm putting them in my bag. So when I come, I ain't gotta worry about if a truck got seals. I got my own seals. So I'll have what I need. Y'all know I'm about preparing and having things ready because time is money. So you got to try your best to make sure you do everything in a timely fashion. All right, so you gotta go get your equipment. So. Let me go and get my equipment. I gotta get something real quick though. All right, y'all. I figure I do my 25 push ups for the first beginning of the day and I'll finish my 25 at the end if I'm not too torn down. Like a, like a boss. Like a boss. come to some of these places it's going to be really weird trying to back into these places but some of these places are truly small and obviously wherever you go you always make sure you have your hazards on and put your triangles out so let me get the triangle gotta put the triangle in front of the vehicle so people can see you so triangle down now I just got to make sure I lock my truck so that way while I'm unloading nobody gonna get in so let's see let's see if I backed up well I gotta open I have to open one of the doors so I gotta open the door and then I can take out my ramp board and everything okay so I got my got my dolly out now this is more than enough room to put out my um my ramp so let me get started
finally made it. I finally made it to Tappahannock. Hmm, listed. Man, I'm in Tappahannock, uh, Virginia. 1,500 more cases to get up off of here. And then I am done. I have to go into the day over. Yep. Good thing this one in Tappahannock, they got a holiday inn right across the street. So I could pretty much just walk over. This is pretty much what I got left. So let me get unloading. Yes, I am almost done. Hallelujah. Look at them Katie's. I gotta strap them things down. So went from a whole trailer to now down to the halfway mark. So let's do it. This heat and this work is kicking my tail. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna get one more stack. When you, as you, as you unload this stuff, you're supposed to check it off. So I have to check to see where I'm at to make sure that everything is there. So let me double check what I got. Like a, like a boss. Like a boss. Alright, so it looks like everything is there, so let me finish unloading this crap. Like a boss. Man, guess I had to take another walk to the hotel, even though this ain't far. This is where it is. It's like right across the street. This is Tappahannock, Virginia. This is um, this is Tappahannock, Virginia. I think that's where Chris Brown from. He be talking about all that in his music and stuff. Tappahannock, Virginia. So, man. This heat whoop, it's not even the work that will whoop your tail when you're doing this job. It's the weather elements. Whether it's just too cold or too hot. Look at it. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know. All them bugs. Yeah, but uh, let me get my tail to the hotel so that way I can take a shower and lay it on down and do my 10 hour reset. Once again, we are at a Walmart. You see this? Always seem to catch Walmarts 
Shit, homeboy, he catching the walk. My what's up, Western Express? Hey, buddy. Shit, they got the Mrs. Kato store. Got them juniors and plus sizes. Got got uh KFC. I don't want none of that fast food though. Just trying to stay healthy, just cause I'm super holly 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 active. Don't mean that I can just start eating any and everything. I'm still gonna maintain. Well, I'm gonna try to. I haven't had a chip. I haven't had a chip. No, I haven't. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna have no milk titties and a goddamn pregnant belly. I'm trying to get rid of a little bit of pudge that I got. So, a sister kicked the chips. It's gonna be hard. I'm not saying that I succeeded in fully kicking the chips because the chips do be calling my name when they be putting them in the lunchroom. But if I do get a chip, it'll be for my kids. It won't be for me to chomp on, take a little chip, just be like, nah, I can't do it. It sounds very delicious, but I ain't gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Nope, not gonna do it. Y'all can see in my face, like I'm so dirt freaking tired. Hey, I started off with eyeliner on today. Now, where is it? Where is the eyeliner? I don't even sweat it all. It makes no sense. Well, if you know you gonna sweat to get cute at all. No nail polish, no lipstick, no, obviously, no eyeliner. My legs, they hurt. And especially, like I said, I think I said eyeliner. See, I can't even get my thoughts together. Sister just, that heat whooped my tail. It was like 2,100 pieces. It wasn't the work, it's the heat. The heat, the heat, man. It's god dang, I didn't cuss, I said dang. It's god dang heat. I'm about to get up in here and I'm about to go live with y'all. So, y'all tune in to my live. That's if I ain't already posted this yet. Man, I thought the hotel I reserved was Holiday Inn, but no, it was Days Inn. You know what? I'm so tired right now. All I need is a bed. I don't even care as long as it's clean. I might sound a little raunchy with what I'm about to say. As long as ain't no cum stains on the sheet or no bed bugs or no needles. As long as the place is clean and I can lay my head. I don't care where I go. I just want to lay down until my 10 hours is up. Then I can take my tail home. God dang it. We got time for this. All these things but Y'all can't even really see it. I'm about to walk through all of them too. I wish they would. I wish they would mess with me. Even the birds. Just nature. Dragonflies. All right, so this is Days in in Tappahannock, Virginia. So, do I got a scan? Oh, I don't got a scan. All right, let me find my room. Let's find it. Where are you at, Mr. Room? I desperately need you right now. Oh, it's not bad. This is not bad, shabby at all. Like I said, well, there ain't no cum stains, bed bugs, roaches, rats, mice. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say. Oh, my bad. I had to walk all this. Time. Man, it just don't work. But I was just clean, so I'm clean. So we got a pretty view. Tap a hand in between where Chris Brown from. I hear you, Chris. Yeah, baby. Got your little safe. You want to put, you know, put things in there, whatever things you got. Hopefully, it's legal things you putting up in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To, um, I gotta lock the door. It was this movie called, um, I think it was called, uh, what was it called? Oh, uh, yeah, I know what it was called. It's this movie, it's an old movie. It, it was called Derailed, and um, I believe, what was it? Derailed. I think the guy. I think the guy ended up having an affair. One of them had an affair. 
and he didn't, matter of fact, I think the guy had an affair against his wife and he didn't lock the hotel door and, and he got set up to where the woman set him up to where, um, you know, when they was doing what they was doing because he didn't like lock the door, how y'all see me do it. Somebody uh, was able to get in and came in and put a gun to his head while the girl that set him up, she put a gun to his head too and told him that if they didn't get her, get them blah, they blah money, that they was going to kill him and his wife and this and that. But it was a good movie. It's called Derailed. It's an older movie. I liked it. But, all right, so I think this is, <clears throat> I'm ready to conclude this video because I done had it. I'm ready to lay down. So, night, night, y'all. Bye bye, bye night, night deuces, deuces, deuces. All right, man. When you driving these CNGs, you definitely have the trip plan. And if you work from the Charlotte location, and you know you got to go far out. From what my train is telling me, catch the Greenboro location, which is off of Random and Road, is on I eighty five exit two twenty. If you going north. If you're going northbound, like to Virginia, let's say Lynchburg, where I came from, Tappahannock, fill up before you go and then catch it when you come back and you shouldn't run out of fuel. So after everything I did, I got almost a thousand pounds left. From what the train is saying, they say if it get under a thousand pounds and you cut the truck off, it might not start back up. And if it get, of course, like below 500 pounds, you in trouble, you have to call a record. But from what they've been telling me, 2,000 pounds would give you about 300 miles. So a full 4,000 pounds, which is full, will give you 600 miles, depending on if the truck is in running, good running condition, uh, weather, speed, everything plays a major factor. So these are the different ports. Like every pump has their own fuel style. So this is the pump. This is the pump right here. This is the pump, so this nozzle look like it'll probably go on the bigger style pump. And that kind of heavy. And you definitely have to be careful when putting putting it on and taking it, especially taking it off, because when you take it off, it can pop off and hit you in the mouth. And because it's CNG, it's Piedmont, because it's CNG, and uh, there's not a lot of these type of vehicles on the road, their prices are way cheaper standard because it's not a lot out there so of course they're gonna make it cheaper until they get more of it so the fuel price majority of the time be under two dollars like a dollar 96 for you know a gallon but you can't beat it because like i said it's not really popular yet so like i said most likely i probably have to fuel from this part and on these trucks they have you can you can see the readings from either side of the truck like say I was just on the passenger side and I want to say, hmm, what my field look like? Same reading that y'all seeing over there on this side, digital reading. Yeah, so you can check it from either side. They have your field gauge inside the truck, but they say that's not really fully accurate, but you can still go by it. But the main um, thing you want to go by to determine where you're at is this right here. I mean, the gauge inside of the truck is enough to say okay i need to stop especially when the light comes on when that light comes on you need to stop soon as possible but then again like i said these these fuel stations are really not around like that so if you wait until your light come on and you don't know where you at i feel sorry for you because a lot of new people that start here <laughs> they be calling their train and hey man my light came on i don't know what to do well well where you at oh uh, I'm, I'm all the way, uh, I had to go to Pennsylvania and, um, you know, I, I don't know where it's at. Well, where in Pennsylvania at? Um, well, I'm on I-76 on the turnpike. Well, man, you should have filled before you left, when you left out. You should have filled in Lynchburg, where there was a station in Lynchburg. Now you have to call a record. Don't call me when the light comes on. Call me when you get to a thousand pounds, because in a thousand pounds, you can get somewhere in 300 miles. Yes, don't wait to the last minute to call for help. Call for help way before time. Even if you call about a hotel, if you call about the low times, if you call about fuel, anything. 
call ahead of time so that way you're not stuck in a really dire situation and you have to call a record or the police or wherever ever because you might break down to where now you're going to have to get police to escort you so yeah let me get this fuel so i can get to the terminal man this really sucks <laughs> since i gotta use the bathroom and it definitely ain't the number one. Oh man i hate to do it but i'm not gonna make it oh my goodness Dang, somebody got comfortable smoking cigarettes while they just let loose. Oh my goodness. My dang comp data card would not work at the pump in Greensboro. And I feel crazy because what if I really did need that pump and I couldn't freaking get no fuel, man. I almost ran out of fuel. Look at it. I'm really surprised that it's not lower than that. Cause my my light came on and everything was on E, so I'm surprised it's not lower than that. But yeah, man, word of advice before you come out here as a new person, or or even if you just out here, make sure your comp data card that it works at these pumps. Cause you don't want to get somewhere like I did and then can't get fuel. And thank God, God was on my side. I was able to make it back to the terminal. But what if you couldn't? I, I mean, if I don't have to call a record, I don't want to call a record. You know. I mean, I know it's not my money, but you know, I know how it is to run a company. So I do believe in trying to help the company save money if I can. So yes, make sure your comp data card works. So that way he won't run out of fuel. You don't want to run out of fuel. I almost ran out of fuel. So I think this is going to conclude my videos because obviously this is the end of this trip. So all right, y'all. Deuces.